A Tea Party goer wows the crowd when he breaks into song of a off, too often forgotten portion of our Star Spangled Banner. Blessed with victory and peace, may the heaven rescued land praise the power that has made and preserved us a nation. He joins us now, a former U.S. Marine, Lewis Schaefer. Thank you so much for joining us today. And tell us, why did you stand up and belt that out? Well, ma'am, it was shortly after 9-11 when WSB 750 was at the Braves game, the very first one they allowed after 9-11. And they had asked for volunteers to sing some patriotic songs. And I was there at the time of the question, and I stepped back thinking I wasn't worthy or professional enough and I thought well if I'm ever given another opportunity I will sing to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ and so when we're when we're raised and go through our schooling we assume others have get are receiving the same kind of schooling as we are and uh, come to find out that God has been removed from our culture and the young lady that spoke before me raised that question that God has been removed and, and is there any hope of bringing him back well but I think a lot of people didn't I, even know that there was a fourth stanza how did you how did you know about it did you grow up singing it as well no the hymnal that my aunt gave me when I was freshly became a new Christian had the only the two verses in it and so I I was familiar with only the two, but uh, I actually have my grandfather's or grandmother's hymnal and uh, I found that there are four, so I stand sit corrected. <laughs> right, so but, uh, like I, I've never heard this, uh, this stanza before and it didn't seem like a lot of people in the crowd did either. What was the reaction as you belted, because they recognized the tune, you were sure of the lyrics, you weren't messing them up, what was the reaction from those sitting to your right and left and in front of you? Well, as, as I was watching Herman Cain, he, he began to realize it was the national anthem and he began to motion people to rise. But there were some of, the, of my era or older, you might say, that, that recognized it and began to stand. And in one sense, you could say it's a cheap way to get a standing ovation. <laughs> but that wasn't my purpose. My purpose was to bring the awareness that God had his hand on the forming of this nation. And... But it what's was great about it is that you were able to share it with that crowd, and now you've been able to share it with the Fox and Friends audience, and we thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much.